Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Top 10 Songs. Today we have a band that, kind of surprisingly, I've had numerous, numerous requests to do a Top 10 Songs show on. Not a very famous band, although pretty notable band to the progressive rock community. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the band. I wouldn't say I'm as huge a fan as some of you seem to be, uh, or as big a fan as some other bands that I've talked about so far, but I've been following the career of this band for quite a number of years, and I have uh, most, if not all, of their albums. So uh, this was actually a cool little exercise to put together a top 10 list on of my favorite songs from this band. I am talking about Camel, okay? Uh, pretty cool band. A band that probably is more notable for their instrumental songs and their dynamite, but they also have a lot, a lot of really good vocal songs. And you know, looking at uh, taking a look at their discography and starting to put together this list, most of the songs that I'm kind of uh, leaning towards here in my top ten are mostly from their '70s albums. I do like their '80s and Beyond albums, but I think that the band started to get kind of really. Uh, a bit more accessible. Not that their music wasn't good, it was, but I think for me, the most enjoyable Camel tracks are from their 70s albums. Seems like this happens a lot when we do these shows, right? We always tend to gravitate towards the earlier albums, kind of, it is what it is, right? So let's dive right in here. We'll start with number 10. Number 10 is actually one of the, uh, it's actually from one of their, in fact, the, the next couple are from their later 70s albums, which are actually quite nice. Um, again, the band was taking on uh, more melodic and kind of uh, pop-based song structures, but still they would throw some really cool nuggets in those albums. And all, all the songs on those albums were actually very, very good. But number 10 is First Light from the underrated Rain Dances album. Just a really cool tune, very melodic, dreamy. I mean, a lot of the camel arrangements are just dreamy is like a perfect word to describe uh, some of the music of camel. You just have, you have these real cool like keyboard and synth uh, patches and soundscapes, and then of course Andy Latimer's wonderfully expressive uh, lead guitar work. Just a really, really good band. Probably not as like energetic and bombastic as like Yes or Gentle Giant, although they did have their moments. But uh, more of you know they would take like a kind of more pastoral kind of uh, melodic uh, way about their music. Again, not to not to say they sound like Genesis because they don't. But uh, in fact, I think Camel are actually a pretty unique band. But I think that they're less of the bombast, more of just kind of like just gorgeous melodic passages. Really good songwriting, a really good way of arranging their 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 tunes, especially the instrumental songs. So uh, first, Life from Rain Dance is my number ten. Coming in at number nine off the Breathless album, Echoes. Fantastic song. Again the way they kind of layer the keyboards and the guitars. Just really, really gorgeous stuff. And again, um, it's amazing just how many, you know, you look on the, on the career of Camel, just how many really successful instrumentals they had in their discography. So Echoes from Breathless coming at number nine. Coming in at number eight from I Can See Your House From Here, the wonderful Ice. Now, if you had never listened to the music of Camel, and you want to hear a guitar hero that perhaps you've never been subjected to before, I highly recommend you listen to Ice, okay, from Camel, from the I Can See Your House From Here album. Andy Latimer, what an emotional, gut-wrenching guitar performance on that song. And again, in, throughout so much of the uh, Camel's history, this guy is just a great, great guitar player. Him and his Gibson Les Paul, man, what an expressive, expressive player. Really, really dynamite. Okay, from number seven, let's go to the Mirage album, which is my favorite Camel album, the White Rider Suite. I'm throwing the whole thing in here because I think it's just a, a awesome, what's it, like three, four tracks? Uh, lengthy piece, goes in all these different movements, uh, takes you through kind of a sumptuous pastoral prog through like hard charging almost jazz fusion uh some heavier sections some mellow sections it kind of goes all over the place takes you on an adventurous ride for the length of the duration of the track awesome stuff uh the white rider coming in at number seven from the moon man this album another dynamite album uh how about chord change 
kind of a hard rocker for the band, right? They, these guys, you know, Camel never really got too heavy. I mean, they do have some harder rocking tunes, especially earlier in their uh, in their career. Uh, this is one of them. I love Core Change. Great, great song. Again, it's called that for a reason. Got a lot of changes in meter and things going on there. Pretty cool tune for the, you know, heavy-duty prog fans. Uh, coming in at number five from their first album. Underrated album. You know, the, the band had not yet really found their way yet on that first album. Uh, stylistically, it's kind of all over the map, but I always really like Never Let Go. Just some awesome vocals on that. It's just a, again, kind of dreamy, melodic, pastoral tune with some great guitar work. Again, I have to go back to the vocals because they just kind of bring you in and never let go, right? Um, so that comes in at number five. Love that song. Coming in at number four, uh, my top four are pretty damn cool, and there's some awesome tunes here that I've always really liked a lot. The hard-charging kickoff track to the Mirage album, Free Fall. It's kind of a different tune for the band. Uh, again, it's kind of hard rocking, got you know great guitar riffs, cool solos, lots of awesome classic synthesizer and keyboards on there. Um, just a really, really cool tune that I always really, really liked a lot. Coming in at number three. These two tracks are a package deal for me, always have been. It's from probably one of their most beloved albums ever. Uh, it's a concept album where, for me, it's almost hard to pull out individual tracks because all the short little pieces to this entire concept album kind of really just segue into each other, and the whole album as itself is just great. I'm talking about the Snow Goose album specifically, but the, the coming in at number three for me is Rioter slash Rioter Goes to Town. I mean, man, the melodies in this tune are just awesome. You know, the flutes and the guitars and the keys. It's just, I mean, just addicting melodies that just get in your head and, you know, just kind of move their way around inside. And they don't come out the other end, right? At least not for a while. They kind of stay in there for, for a long time. Just really, really wonderful stuff. You know, and I could have picked so many individual tracks from the Snow Goose album. But for me, it's like, it's almost like you take it in as a whole, as a whole, almost like kind of like Thick as a Brick from Jethro Tull. But I did want to point out those two tracks specifically, which I think are just absolutely stunning. So Ryder and Ryder Goes to Town, two for one deal at number three. Uh, coming in at number two, again, going back to the Mood Man, this album, man, Lunar Sea. Doesn't get much better than that, right? An incredible, incredible instrumental. Again, Andrew Latimer. That's all I need to say. Unbelievable guitar playing in that song. Just really, really mind-boggling stuff. And then number one. Um, back to my favorite album, Mirage, you know, like a perfect tune. And for me, arguably Camel's signature track, uh, Lady Fantasy. It's epic, guys. It's just got everything you love about 70s prog in there. You know, I can't stress enough those first, specifically, um, Camel's second, third, and fourth albums. You know, you can throw the first one in there, you can throw a couple that came after, but man, those second, third, and fourth albums are just unbelievable prog. Don't get enough credit, especially from the masses. You know, all of us here who watch, you know, you guys who watch this channel, you know who I'm talking talking to here. Uh, you all know the virtues of Camel, right? But so many people who maybe know, you know, Yes and Rush and Emerson Lake and Palmer and Genesis and maybe King Crimson, Camel is kind of like an undiscovered band kind of sitting on the fringes. Well, they shouldn't be because, man, they're, they're early material. Even a lot of their later material is just really, really fantastic. Uh, Lady Fantasy, great stuff. Again, great guitar work. Um, this, the keyboard work is out of control on there. Just a really, really great song. It's always been my favorite Camel song. So how about some uh, honorable mentions, right? How about from the first album? Let's go all the way back. How about Separation? Like that tune a lot. Uh, Mr. Queen. How can you not like Mr. Queen, right? Uh, and then the awesome instrumental, uh, Aru, Aru, I can never pronounce this thing, Arubaluba, right? Arubaluba. Yeah, I think that's how they call it. Uh, that's great. And that's got some nice ham and organ in it. Great heavy guitars. A really, really great tune. Uh, back to the Mirage album. How about uh, Super Twister? That was kind of sitting right on the fringes of my top ten. That's a gorgeous instrumental with some lovely Andy Latimer flute playing on it. Uh, how about Earthrise? Another really, really great tune. Uh, from the Snow Goose, I mean, you know, so many great tracks on there. Uh, how about the, the Snow Goose itself? How about Migration? It's pretty lovely. Uh, Flight of the Snow Goose is great. Snow Goose is great. Uh, Dunkirk, I like a lot. And how about uh, La Princesa Perdue? 
Love that tune, right? Uh, but the whole album is just so great. Uh, from Moon Mandis, how about Song Within a Song? That's a favorite of mine. Uh, Another Night is great. Airborne is also good. Uh, from Rain Dances, how about uh, Metronome? I like that. Highways of the Sun, a song that should have been a hit single for them. Very, very catchy tune. Uh, Uneven Song is a great one. Skylines is gorgeous. Love that one a lot. Uh, from Breathless, how about the title track? Uh, Summer Lightning, I always really like. Hey, you know, it's funny. Those are like later 70s Camel albums. Summer Lightning just kind of brought this to mind. Kind of sound like ELO of the same time period, just without all the strings and the orchestra stuff. Look, listen to some of those albums. They had very similar, similar stuff going on there. Uh, the Sleeper is another really good one. Great instrumental from Breathless. Uh, from the I Can See Your House From Here album, which is kind of quirky. You can see kind of like pop and even maybe early new wave sneaking into a couple tracks on there. Very subtle. Uh, Eye of the Storm is a great tune. Uh, Who We Are, I Love. And uh, Your Love is Stranger Than Mine. Another cool, catchy tune. Could have been a hit. Uh, how about from the Nude album? Drafted. Docks. Beached. Some strong tracks. Another concept album with a lot of individual tracks. You know, I opted not to go to some of the kind of later period albums. I do like a lot of those, but, um, you know, rather than just go list a lot of arbitrary songs here and there, I, the stuff that I've already mentioned in my honorable mentions, that's those are the albums on um, the tracks that I'm kind of most fond of, and I know better. Okay, a lot of the later period stuff, I own a lot of them, but I don't know those albums as well as I do some of the early stuff. So I'm going to kind of stop there. So let's go back and run down my top ten. Coming in at number one, Lady Fantasy. Number two, Lunar Sea. That's a great mood man, this album. Number three, Rider and Rider Goes to Town. Okay, that's a packaging those together here. Number four, Free Fall from Mirage. Number five, Never Let Go from the debut. Number six, Core Change, again from Mood Madness. Number seven, The White Rider Suite from Mirage. Number eight, Ice from I Can See Your House from Here. Number nine, Echoes from the Great Breathless album. And number 10, First Light off of Rain Dances. So there we have it, Camel. So for all of you guys who have been asking for Camel, asking for Camel for weeks and weeks and weeks, now you got it. So let me know what your top 10 favorite Camel songs are in the comments and feedback section below. I'd like to know. Uh, I'd like to see it. Um, my guess is some of you are probably going to put some of the later material on there, which is really cool. Like I said, I don't dislike any of the later albums. Uh, I just know the early ones better. So that's kind of what I focused on here. So anyway, visit us on the web at www.cutranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, or here on the Mighty YouTube. Quite often, we've got lots of top 10 song shows coming up. i got a really long list, just a matter of getting to them. Uh, I'm going to do some more deep cuts on classic albums. It seems like the top 10 song format has been more popular than the deep cuts, but I'd like to throw some more of those back there. Um, because I know some of you really like that. And, uh, you know, we got all sorts of stuff coming up. I got a rant that I'm cooking too that I've been talking about for a couple of weeks. And that's, I think, coming up maybe this weekend. Of course, uh, we took a break from questions and answers last week, but I'm going to record that new one this week. So look for that as well over the weekend. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.